Since native access was released, most library location and installation stuff is done through native access. And that's what I'm looking at here. So if you're looking to change the location of a library with native instruments, this is one of two ways of doing that. Firstly, you can change the location of your entire library, every, every library all in one go. So if you've just got a new hard drive or something, you've copied everything across, you can change that by clicking on the kind of guy at the top here, clicking on preferences, and then your content location is listed under there. That's quite straightforward. Just click on browse, choose your new folder, select folder, and it will re-index everything and tell you what you've got installed and what you haven't. That's really straightforward. However, if you're like me and you want to just change the location of a couple of your plugins, let's say you've got some key ones that are quite large and you want to have those particular ones on a faster hard drive, but maybe you don't have space on that fast hard drive, like an NVMe drive or something, to have your entire library on there. It's not quite so obvious how you do that. Well, the first thing I would do is go to your two locations. Firstly, here I've got my um, the location of all my libraries. You know, that's my current slow location. And then on the right-hand side here, I've got the area where I want to keep my faster stuff. So I want to sort of copy this. Um, I'm going to copy the gentleman across because I use this piano quite regularly. So I'm just going to make a copy of that entire library across in the new folder. A lot faster across to there. Then I'm going to change the name. You can just delete it, but I'll probably just change the name to be sure. To of the, of the gentleman in the old location, I'm just going to change it to the gentleman old, so that native uh, native access can't find this anymore. It doesn't know how to find it anymore, and it will exist in the new one. So if I now go back to native access and click on refresh at the top here. You see, you've got to relocate all, and I've now got under the gentleman a repair symbol. And if I click on that repair symbol, I've got a relocate option. If I click on relocate, then it can't find it under F complete 11. So I can now say, no, it's not there because I want to have this particular library here. So click on the gentleman, my new location, select folder, and relocate, and it will do its stuff. And that's all there is to it. So now if I click on the details for the gentleman and go to the installation path, you can see that that is under K production. Of course, this will be different for your drive, but this is under K production, whereas everything else is under my slower drive. So if I go to the giant here, everything else is under my slower drive, which is F complete 11. And that's it. That's all you have to do to change the locations of uh, individual plugins. Fairly straightforward. Does it make a difference having them on a nice NVMe drive? Well, I'll save that for a separate video. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks very much for watching.